So this is going to be interesting, right? A lot of people on YouTube do walk and talks. Well, how about we do a weed and talk instead? So today, um, and I love weeding. It's like one of my favorite things. So like this is my happy place, right? Um, today we're going to be diving into the wonderful world of positive psychology. And we're going to be talking about this powerful practice that's uh, simple but transformative. It can bring you a lot of joy and connection into your life. And you could probably do it in like 15 minutes. So let's jump in. This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp makes it really easy for you to get access to a licensed mental health professional from the comfort of your own home. Now, I'd like to share with you some of the experiences that people who've used my discount link have had with BetterHelp, and they've given us permission to share their experience with BetterHelp. So let me just read you um, what one of them says. This person says, I appreciate Kayla more than words can express. I have grown so much. She challenges me, listens to me, shares valuable and priceless insights with me. I love our light bulb moments. It has been one difficult but wonderful learning experience after another. I have learned so much about me and my family dynamics that has brought me to this point. Most important, she has taught me to care for myself, give myself credit for my achievements, and to love myself as much as I have loved and given to others. I look forward to continuing our journey and growing even more. Thank you, Kayla, for helping me to become a better version of me. I am becoming happy despite this difficult time in my life. Thank you for helping me transition from the loss of my mom and the growth of my adult son. So many challenges. I have gone from overwhelmed to actually feeling joy. Okay, so if you'd like to learn how you can access therapy with better help, just check out the link in the description. You can get 10% off your first month. Okay, back to the video. So look, you can't just make yourself feel good all the time, right? Like it's not possible. And it often backfires like trying to feel happy. But like a seed, you can grow happiness through consistent choices. Uh, what we consistently do is what we become. And today we're going to talk about a simple but powerful action that positive psychology has shown to be super effective at helping people feel happier. And it lasts for weeks. So... I feel like this exercise is something that people who are kind of naturally happy, they do it frequently without thinking about. But the rest of us have to learn this skill. So this exercise is called a gratitude letter. And I learned about it from a book called The Power of Moments. Um, it's a quick exercise designed by Martin Seligman. He was one of the founders of positive psychology. And his whole focus was on helping people become more resilient and overcome depression. So research shows that people who write a gratitude letter experience greater levels of happiness and satisfaction in life than people who don't, that they have less negativity in their lives, and they have an improved sense of connection with others. Uh, research also shows that they have less reduced levels of anxiety and depression. And I think one of the coolest things about this is that research found that people who did this exercise, they weren't just happy like right after doing it, but they were also happy one and three months later. So the authors of The Power of Moments, they say, you know, this is a stunning finding. There are a lot of pleasures in the world that can spike our happiness for an hour. A warm donut comes to mind, but there are few that can still provide an afterglow a month later. So that's one of the reasons why I love this exercise. So here's what you do. Take a minute and think of someone who's still alive who did something that changed your life for the better. Um, it could be a teacher who offered words of praise, or a parent who sacrificed for you, uh, or an employer who mentored you, anyone who helped you out, but maybe you never properly thanked them. And now you're just gonna write a letter of gratitude to this person. It doesn't have to be long, but it should be specific and go into as much detail as you can about what this person did that helped you and what that meant to you. How did it affect you personally? And just be really sincere and authentic and specific um, and then let them know as well like how you're doing now how that impacts you now and just mention you know if you do think about them frequently or in certain situations like let them know how you remember what they did or said and then if it's possible in any way share this letter with your mentor in person now if you have to over the phone's okay or like on facetime but anything you can do to see their face to see their reaction to this letter is gonna increase the experience for both you and them. Okay, 
And in the book, in The Power of Moments, they talk about, um, they share the story of, of a young man who did this. He was a college student named Paul, and he wrote this letter to his mother, and then he read it to her. Um, I'm going to read this letter to you. So he said, Mom, from when I was born till now, you have been impacting my life every day. When I was in high school, you came to every single sporting event that you possibly could, even if that meant you had to leave work early to catch the bus to get there. You were there. It didn't matter if I was playing down in Maple Valley during the playoffs. You were still there bundled in blankets. Or if it was pouring rain in the middle of October, you were there in your raincoat. You pushed and pushed and pushed me to do well in school because you wanted me to go to college. I remember the day I was accepted to the University of Montana. We were both able to share that wonderful moment together. I know that if it was not for you, I would not have continued my education. And I thank you for being there for me through the toughest of times and through the best of times. You have been there to support me. And I can't honestly tell you what this means to me. All I can say is that I love you with all of my heart. You are such an amazing human being and an even better mother. Thank you for all the time and effort and hard work you've taken into making me the man that I am today. I love you with all of my heart. Now, you can imagine why this experience would be really amazing for Paul's mother. Um, she, of course, shed some tears. But the experience was also really amazing for Paul. He said, it was such an amazing feeling. I felt almost untouchable. And when he was asked about the most impactful experiences of his entire college experience, um, this experience ranked as his third most impactful right after graduation and attending the national championship football game. So not only does this exercise make you feel happy, reflecting on something positive from your life, but it also makes someone else happy, which makes you feel happier. And it increases that sense of connection with that person. And connection is one of the best sources of joy and res resilience. So now you know what to do. You know how to create a super positive and lasting experience for yourself and someone else. Don't just think about it. Go out and do it. Just start now. It'll probably take you 15 minutes. Okay, you got this. Thank you for watching and take care.